up guys it's your boy d diddy 171 here and today i'm going to talk about get more in depth on the technical specs of the ps4 you know everybody's excited for this ps4 they just sony just announced that confirmed that it will be coming out on the holidays of 2013 and it looks awesome though but they didn't really show it itself but you know today they did release sony did release all the technical specs uh, kind of an overview of the technical specs of like what kind of parts they use so i was going to go down through them and uh i'll tell you what i think uh what we know is that the one of the biggest things that came out of this is that it uses pc architecture the ps4 which is huge because the xbox 360 that's the one big thing those big problem with the ps3 it was its architecture was really different than the normal pc like the xbox 360 which made it uh harder for developers to plan for and uh what we saw is that when on cross-platform games like uh, Bayonetta was probably the biggest example of this, is that they were far superior on the 360 because they're easier to program for. And sometimes in some small examples like uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, as that's when, uh, and uh, that's when uh, some of the lag issues of Black Ops were prevalent on the PS3 version instead of the Xbox 360 version. But with this, it should be uh, it should be a lot better for programmers to program it. Another big thing that came out of this is that it co it it comes with uh, eight gigabytes of memory, and uh, with eight gigabytes, it's it's a lot of memory, and it makes it easier for programmers to program the the PS the PS4 for games. Uh, if you remember, the PS3 only contained 256 megabytes of memory, while the Xbox 360 had 512. And with the more memory, it was easier to plan to to plan around and also deliver. Uh, to produce games for the 360 than the PS3. That's another big reason. Uh, it was rumored that the PS3, the PS4 had four gigabytes of memory, but they increased it to eight to co compete with the Xbox 720 or where the next generation Xbox is. In terms of CPU, what it actually is, it's a x86-64, which is 64-bit, just like on our laptops where you find at Best Buy. It's it's produced by AMD. It's called the Jaguar. It's codenamed the Jaguar. It comes with eight cores instead of three cores, which the 360 and the PS3 had. So that's a big improvement. Uh, the GPU, it's capable of 1.84 teraflops. And it all we know really about it is it's AMD's next generation Radeon-based graphics engine. Uh, 1.84 teraflops for today's standard, that's kind of like a little above uh, mid-range of, uh, of graphic cards. And it's not really... Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's good enough, you know. Honestly, uh, some people are complaining about that already, but you know, I think once developers get used to it, they can produce amazing games for the system. Uh, the and also the CPU and the GPU are on the same die, which makes it an APU, which is an AMD's based technology that they use to make uh, to make the the CPU and GPU work more efficiently and cheaper too. So uh, and also it saves power if you have the, both of them but the only problem is that usually you don't have the same graphical power if you have the cpu and the gpu on different dies but you know it's probably probably gonna be a lot better than most of your apus that you have in pcs right now so i'm just assuming that right now uh, and also the the gpu gets its memory off the eight gigabytes it's shared with the system so it's kind of like a it's just more like integrated but integrated graphics these days are really powerful and they and they're not like your old intel graphics chip that couldn't run games at all they can run they could probably run really well and I, and this is probably no different uh the hard drive drive it's built in that's all we really know about it uh some people think it might come with an ssd but it looks like it's not uh whether it's it's to be seen if it's proprietary or it's uh or it's a regular uh, 2.5 uh, laptop hard drive that maybe you could swap out for an SSD. It'll be uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see. It's probably I'm assuming it's probably SATA three, uh, which will be about six megabytes per second. Six six megabytes per second, I believe. I don't know, but it should be fast transfer speed. Uh, the optical drive. Some there were some rumors that the optical drive will not be on the PS4. But it is the read only. They come with Blu-ray and DVD, uh, 6x for the Blu-ray and 8x for the DVD. The read speeds. 
pretty much standard, you know. PS3 was the first uh, Blu-ray player made it pretty much mainstream, and it was at the time it was the cheapest Blu-ray player around. But you know, these days a little, little there's cheaper ones out there. <laughs> uh, for the I/O, we see USB 3 make an appearance now, uh, which will be really cool. You know, you can add peripherals. You know, it'll be interesting to see if they bring out back the PlayStation Move and all that stuff. And basically, with the power of USB 3, you can do a lot, lot more with it. With because it, ha it comes with a uh, five gigabytes per second transfer speed instead of 480 max transfer speed of USB 2, which will be really, really, really cool. What they can do with that if they have add-ons like the PlayStation Move, or I did hear that the iToy might be coming back out. So, which is really, 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 really cool. Um, uh, Ethernet. It's basically a gigabit Ethernet. That's basically uh, pretty much the standard now. You know. There's, there's people concerned with the lag-free gaming, and Gigabit Ethernet is probably the best for lag-free gaming. But, you know, there's not everybody likes Ethernet, wired wired, wire, wired internet. But that's why we have 802.11b, G, and N. Uh, on the spec sheet right now, I see uh, it just says B, G, and N. We don't know it's dual band, though, but I'm assuming it's dual band because that's almost a standard, a must-have for gaming now for lag-free gaming is dual band. So... Which is runs on a 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz frequencies, and I'm assuming that it'll come with that. So you guys will have, you know, no more no lag as long as you have a good internet connection, and you pay for it. <laughs> uh, AV outs, HDMI, you know, that's almost a standard now, and that will um, it'll probably run up to 1080p, just like just like your good old uh, HDMI. Who knows? It might come out be more these days uh, in the next generation and uh, and also it comes with analog AV out which is uh, hey, you know for your old school you know there's some grandmas that still have two tube TVs you know you can still hook it up to the standard yellow red and white connections and also composite which is which will be really really good because you know there's still people with old school Harpog HD PVRs which which I have still then I can still record my gameplay in 720p, but you know, if I do get a PS4, I'll probably be gay. I'll probably be upgrading my capture card. Uh, and also it comes with optical output. You know, SB diff. It'll be really, really simple to maybe uh, for surround sound and all that stuff. And uh, that's basically that's all we really, really, really know about the PS4 specs. I did hear that um, there are some rumors that it will. Uh, Per, it will uh, support 4K. If you don't know what 4K is, basically the next, it's even way above 1080p, which is about 4,000 pixels on the width, and it's almost lifelike. These TVs right now at CES are on about $100,000 right now. The 4Ks, and uh, there are some rumors that it'll be 4K ready, but uh, the Sony announced that it'll always support 4K for personal content like photos, but not for games, unfortunately. For 4K, is basically has to wait for next generation unless the Xbox 720 supports it right out of the box, which I really, really doubt. And uh, and honestly, that is basically it. That we all that's all really, really we really know about the PS4. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll do some more videos on the DualShock and also the the software of the PS4. So thank you.